This is a cyclorama, which people in the industry call a psych. And it's white, so we'll call it a white psych. People will also call it a seamless, uh, but the psych is kind of a different thing. Now, if you've ever used just a, like a white vinyl background, those kind of have the same effect. But we have the white vinyls in our home studio and they, they kind of suck. Like they get wrinkled up and you got to move them up and down and well, they have edges. So you can't just throw a super wide angle lens on and have the entire scene disappear in white. We can rent out a studio. This is where we are. We're in Sonalist Studios, not too far from our house. And they have a variety of different psychs and different sizes and different colors. And a psych is amazing to shoot on, but it's actually kind of a challenge. So let's talk about what this is. First of all, the advantage to it is you can see, I can just fill the frame with white and I can appear to be completely floating in nothingness. And if you're doing a commercial shoot, like a nice. fashion shoot, this is incredible. This gives you so much room because I can jump and whatever, and there's plenty of room around me. So the photographer doesn't have to be constantly man managing the edges of the frame and making sure that the frame is filled with the white background because wherever they shoot, it's going to be white. The construction of these is pretty difficult because it's actually, if you go into the corners here, whoa, I actually get a little bit of vertigo because you look directly into it and your, your mind just sees nothing but white and you have no orientation. But in the corners, it's kind of bowl shaped and the carpentry required to build these out and create a completely smooth background is pretty challenging. And when you look at the edges over here, uh, you'll see a little bit of the construction that goes into it. Now, when we look at the wide shot here, you'll see everything in the room that's not painted white is painted completely black. And that means that we can shut off the overhead lights and completely control the light. We can set in strobes and stuff and there's not gonna be any stray light bouncing around. It just gives you complete control of the light. As you could imagine, when you have people walking around on a big white surface like this, their shoes are going to scuff it up. They're gonna leave little footprints. The paint is gonna get scratched and stuff. And so because of that, a big studio like Sonalist will literally have somebody repaint the floor or maybe even the walls every single time they have a different customer in, which means every day they might be in here repainting. And in fact, when the guy dropped us off, he said, over here is a big bucket of paint and a roller. If you need to repaint in the middle of the day, you can do that because keeping this thing clean and tidy, it's a big job. Like it's, it's kind of constant work. And of course it's not disposable like a paper backdrop or a vinyl backdrop. We don't need a lot of power because we're shooting with strobes, but they shoot a lot of videos here and those people use big continuous hot lights. So you can imagine they have this big rig here that's on wheels so they can drag it around and just all these extra cores so you can run them everywhere. And then they have power outlets just lining all the walls. So you can plug stuff in anywhere you go. Up here they have big poles, mounting points for lights that you might want to hang from here as well as electrical outlets right up there. So for all your, we put lights wherever you want. The green psych is good for what we call chroma key or green screening where you can just replace the background and allows you to just fill the frame so I can I can jump in space or go to the beach. They said a rock band was in here doing video stuff and you can see just how much like one shoe can just really mess up these floors. That's why they got to repaint these every time. Yeah. Sinalist here also provides like kitchen facilities so you can get coffee and water and stuff while you're working. Star dressing room A. <laughs> Emily and Agnes are in the dressing room getting hair and makeup done. Oh, you're looking shiny, Emily. <laughs> cool, right? Yeah, what is that? Literally baby oil. Shake uh -huh. it and then you just pour it on the model. I didn't know if it's gonna work or not because we have just like one chance to try it. I was gonna say, you have to get that shot. That's it, I just wanted to show you what a psych was like. If you want more photography tutorials, including lighting stuff, subscribe to our channel, give me a like, and if you have any follow-up questions or comments about what it's like to use a psych, add it down below. Thank you. Oh, check out chapter six in Stunning Digital Photography, where I show you how to use portrait lights and how to get the most out of like white seamless backgrounds. Thanks.